especially on COVID-19 in Nigeria and other disturbing diseases like monkeypox and Lassa fever. According to the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, the country recorded fresh 167 new cases, confirmed cases of COVID-19 between 10th and 12th September. Uh, this is just within two days, reminding us that this disease is still much alive. The government earlier launched the SCALES 3.0 strategy to boost our vaccination capacity with three-month intensive campaign and other strategies. With that being said, COVID-19 is not only rampaging, it's not the only rampaging disease in Nigeria. As I earlier mentioned, monkeypox and Lassa fever are still much at large. From the beginning of this year uh, till date, Nigeria recorded more than 700 suspected cases of monkeypox with about 300 confirmed cases. Even though the mortality is around 10, I can't imagine the hardship uh, people infected with this disease are going through. World Health Organization says Nigeria leads on the luck of African countries with monkeypox infections and fatalities. Now, Lassa fever is a common name in Nigeria is it infectious? Yes. Is it deadly? Yes. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, mentioned that Nigeria recorded more than 5,000 suspected cases of Lassa fever from the beginning of this year till date, with about 700, uh, 170 deaths. Uh, while the confirmed cases of uh, Lassa fever in Nigeria stood at 900 plus. Gentlemen, uh, a lot of health uh, concerns across the, the country. But beyond that, let us look at uh, the most uh, dear situation, uh, the most worrying development in the recent weeks is excessive flooding. Uh, many communities have collapsed due to flooding and many more waiting for their fate should there be another heavy rainfall. So uh, what is the explanation for this excessive uh, flooding this time around, sir? Uh, thank you, Muhammad. Uh, I think uh, we have discussed this a number of times and mm. it has to do with a lot of things. Mm. Uh, it goes beyond what uh, appears to people on the surface. Yeah. Uh, we have a population explosion everywhere mm. and we, our communities uh, are incapable of it is just a response to mm. uh, or this is a reality or a manifestation of uh, explosion in our population yeah um, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are we are becoming uh, um, we, are, we are growing faster than the provisions of our local communities yeah so uh, but beyond that I think this year uh, there were signs for this flood, flood mm. uh, long ago mm. because the volume of rainfall this year is incredibly higher than previous mm. years. Mm. And uh, so, looking at the nature of our communities, uh, the, the, the increase in the amount of rainfall received is actually what compounded the, the issue. Ordinarily flood is recorded ev almost every year in certain parts of the country. Mm -hmm. But then this time around, it, it, it is just uh, uh, it is just too much for many communities, you know. Uh, and, and, and you can almost tell you can almost predict mm. and nobody's surprised that there is flood in some of these places because these places are prone yeah. to uh, the, the flooding. The flooding where they are located mm. some of the houses are built on river banks mm. almost uh, right inside the body of the river mm. river and uh, this these this, this, uh, communities uh, do not have drainages you know um, and so on so 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 one it occurs on areas that are densely populated it occurs on communities that are located along river banks and uh, uh, and, and so uh, 
even if the communities have the facilities to you know get this water out out mm. when the rainfall is beyond <coughs> the capacity the expected, yeah the capacity then you can't say uh, you, 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 and this rainfall does not uh, consult us uh, it, 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 it comes uh, next year will be even more than this most probably or less than this so uh, sometimes do you just blame people they say this is a natural disaster it's from God. so it's a very complex situation mm. uh, but I think it has a lot to do with the uh, the increase in the water levels in the mm. amount of rainfall and then the nature of our communities they are becoming increasingly incapable of uh, dealing or responding to you know uh, to uh, the, the humanitarian mm, the uh, the environmental challenges that uh, comes with you know what the change in climate yeah you know and I think uh, uh, we have to understand that you know every action we take on the surface of the earth affects it mm. and when 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 this affects the environment it has a way of bringing everyone into it mm. you know uh, so when you make good use of it then uh, uh, you save yourself and save others but once you abuse it you destroy yourself and you orders. destroy the community and that is your own base mm. and then it also has a way of uh, and then once you abuse it you have no moral grounds to stop the next person then the next person then the next person people linking up their laboratories to uh, waterways. to waterways people building on on drainages on waterways and so on so uh, then people dump uh, dirt uh, in 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 public drainage facilities. So, so you see, these are the these are the. Issues. What about you? Do you have any explanation with regards to this? Well, like Abdulhamid has said, uh, you know, uh, we have witnessed change in frequency of rainfall during the years, and we expert have said so many times that this is a result of climate change, mm. and in our communities and especially in our people. Uh, this is topic of climate change. I it's think it's the most <laughs> uninterested topic. Yeah, I'm sure about that. About uh, around people and whether it is linked or directly the cause of this uh, excessive flooding, flooding and so forth. I think it is high time we give it a shot and start taking it seriously. Maybe it should be part of our discussion all the time. Mm. Perhaps it might bring one or two solution to this problem. Well, uh, I have seen a lot of communities uh, going out of their homes mm. and uh, they are displaced from mm. where they live. How do these people cope with this thing? If you, you as newsmen, probably you've interacted with one of two, two of them or two of them in the field. I think even uh, apart from the interaction, we have seen it physically. Mm -hmm. uh, in those uh, few years ago, we are mostly talking about flash flooding. Mm. Uh, but uh, now I think in Medukuri we are witnessing river flooding as well. Yeah, you can see our bridges are almost occupied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one f f bridge in Moromoro, what mm. call this area? It has been closed already because yes. uh, water have overtaken the bridge, and it has displaced so many not only communities now that means of livelihood for mm. people. So this I think will result to more humanitarian crisis. I have seen in social media so many photos of people who were di displaced, uh, settling in in schools, just like the IDPs who have recently been relocated. We are <laughs> they are also IDPs. another right? new set of IDPs mm. because of flooding. And for me personally, uh, I find it even really scary to move uh, uh, on top of bridges <laughs> in Medjugorje <laughs> because I feel like maybe the flood has already so much, so much some part of the bridge it is al almost ready to collapse mm. it is really scary and I don't know this is a really big natural disaster uh, if to yeah. say there is any engineer among you I would have asked you what are the positive advantages of uh, this mm. excessive flood 
Mm. But uh, then I know probably you have one or two. No, but maybe you will tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but have, no, uh, no, 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 because you ask this question because you believe there is one. No, so yeah, I, 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 I believe probably. Um, I don't know. Uh, the, if to say there is a proper infrastructure, for example, in, uh, uh, what is the name of that dam? Allo dam. Allo dam. Yeah. You say it is. I know uh, by now the allo dam has been filled. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I have to say there is a proper provision of a facility like this and we know that yes uh, year in year out flooding mm-hmm. there's uh, this issue of flooding in Borno then we can easily channel all the uh, but it needs a lot of money mm-hmm. can easily channel all the waterways and so to allow them so that uh, as we have been doing of course uh-huh, yeah. so yes. that uh, the water the excessive water can be used in uh, to probably in irrigation uh, fish farming mm-hmm. and a lot of other things. Uh, there's another thing I I still want.